Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and the iOS 18 just dropped on the iPhones and these are the best top 10 settings you need to disable or enable on your iPhone. And by the way, you might want to watch till the end because I've got the bonus tip and that will blow your mind and I'm not even joking. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so I promised couple settings, couple tricks. And so we're gonna be spending majority of this time into the settings tab. So head over to that. And by the way, be sure to watch till the end because the final bonus tip will blow your mind. Number 10 would be your camera settings. Trust me on this. I was kind of shocked to see this in the iOS 18. So what you wanna do is go into the camera settings and disable a setting called priority faster shooting. Honestly, I don't know why it's there, but it's kind of like if you were, if you were watching sports and you wanna shoot that photos, sports photos, but I would still not recommend it because it will actually destroy your photo qualities. All right, so next up is gonna be the battery settings. iOS 18 changed a lot of things in the battery department. The first thing you wanna do is to set the battery uh, limit to manually to 85%. Trust me on this, it wasn't available before, so all you had was just 80%. Make it to 85% and you're gonna be thanking me later. This is by far one of the best settings you can do on your iPhone, and this would actually help your battery life and battery health as well. As you can see, I'm on 99%, even though I've charged this phone like 58 times. How's that, like, fair? Okay, next up is going to be the notification settings. If you're like me and you screen mirror your iPhone to your TV, by the way, link will, if you wanna do that, I'll be putting that video in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. You might wanna disable the notifications while you are streaming your iPhone screen onto your TV. Trust me, by far one of the best settings. Imagine you're screen mirroring, screen mirroring your iPhone and you get multiple messages from your friend. That's, that's not good. Next up is gonna be the search. What you want to do is go scroll just a tiny bit until you see the option search. They actually re they actually changed this setting. So what you want to do is disable a setting called improve search. This will save a lot of battery. Next up is going to be the Wi-Fi notification. If you have used your iPhone in a public place, ever got this notification that there's a public Wi-Fi available to you? That's open Wi-Fi. Trust me on that. That Wi-Fi is not safe, and you don't want to. You don't want your iPhone to be connected to it. So just disable the Wi-Fi notifications. All right, number fifth, I think I don't even remember the uh, remember the count. Now what you want to do is go to the App Store settings. Now they they change everything in the iOS 18, honestly speaking. So the first thing you want to do is disable the app downloads. It means if you have couple, if you have multiple iOS devices, just like I do, I have iPad and I don't want apps from my iPhone to be downloaded automatically on my iPad because there's some apps that works better on iPhone than iPad. Next up is going to be your in-app rating and the reviews. Ever, ever using the app, ever ever had this notification that you need to review this app? You, you, that's, that's so annoying, by the way. Just disable that. You don't need to do that. If you want to review that, just go to the app manually and you can do that. Next up is going to be the display settings. So head over to your display and brightness settings. Really simple. And this is, by the way, really old. So go to the display setting, display and brightness settings. Scroll down just a tiny bit until you see the always on display. I never use this, but if you are someone who used the always on display, just remove the show wallpaper and show notifications. That's gonna help you a lot with the battery. And it's just, I've heard about a screen burning, not, on, not exactly on iPhones, but just be careful with that, okay? So just disable it in my opinion. Next up is a quality life change in the iOS 18. By far one of my favorite settings. So head over to your privacy and security settings. Inside the settings, you go to the tracking tab. Now you don't wanna disable the request, by the way. You wanna disable the app that is tracking you. So in case there is an app that needs some kind of a tracker and you really need to, it will ask for the permission. Otherwise, you just disable everything at all. You don't need any of that because I, I quite, a, quite a lot of apps to collect your data and you don't want that. Next up is gonna be your location settings. Now, what I'm gonna t what I'm gonna tell you is never have an app on always. As you can see, all of my apps are while using or never. What you want to do is you never want the app to always know where your location is. Trust me on that. It will drain your battery life, like I drained some Starbucks drinks. That that was kind of cold. That was pretty bad. But you don't want that. You don't want to disable location services at all. All you want to do is just make sure that none of the apps are using always. Uh, location but you don't want to turn off these location services as you can just you cannot find your iPhone so be sure not to turn everything off okay next up is going to be the stolen device protection by far one of the best settings in the iPhone I don't know if that's that's available in the Android which I have no idea about but I love the setting on the iPhone you can actually you need to turn this on because it, it needs to it needs to know where the iPhone is so yeah 
you need to turn this on that would actually help you even if your iphone is turned off i mean that's only an iphone can do right <laughs> yeah next up is going to be the apple advertising you don't want that uh targeted ads on your iphone i usually don't like that because most of the time i don't see many ads on the iphone but i don't want people to track i don't want the apple to track the what what am i searching for on the internet so just just disable that that will help you a lot with the battery timing trust me on that you're going to be thanking me later next up is the sensitive content if you are if you have given the iphone to your friend or something you could just disable that yeah you, you get the idea next up is going to be the quality live settings so inside your menu inside your uh, profile settings you would see an option called subscription i don't think that was available in the ios 17 this is really awesome you can actually just click on subscription you can see what apps are uh, using your credit or debit card that you have inserted in your iphone in this case i don't have many apps i don't want that if you don't want that you could just click on the app and disable that next up is going to be the bonus tip this is by far one of my favorite tricks so as you can see i cannot access to my profile so even if somebody has my iphone they cannot log me out on from my iphone that is so cool you can see it's it's blurred out or it's just it's grayed out because you cannot access it so the way you do this is go to the screen timing screen time actually and go to the content and privacy restrictions i don't know why apple has hidden that inside the screen time settings but this should be the mainstream on your settings page so go to the content and privacy restrictions scroll all the way down and you you want to don't allow these two settings passcode and accounts you don't want to don't allow these both both of these settings and to make it even more secure you have to enable a passcode and make sure the passcode is different than your original password because every time you want to allow that if somebody has your iphone that they want to access it they need a different code in this case i have a different code than my iphone so be sure to turn the setting on you're gonna you're gonna love this one well that's pretty much it for the video so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked the video by the way let me know in the comment section below which settings you like the best and which settings helped you out and in my case that was the camera settings and the ios id settings that the way you cannot access the id settings yeah but that's it for the video i'm riz and please be sure to subscribe to the channel that's gonna help me a lot if you have any questions don't do let me know in the comment section below and i will catch you in the next one peace out